Good morning. We are in Finland. We recently traveled from Mauritius to Finland. If you haven't seen the other vlogs, then I recommend go watch them. But we are spending our three day self isolation here at a summer cottage. The summer cottage is a big part of Finnish summer. So most families will have a summer cottage, which they go to for a lot of the summer. So they'll escape the city or the town they live in and go and stay by the lake in the countryside. I thought it would be very nice to show you what summer cottage living is like. This specific summer cottage is owned by my wife's family. My wife's mum is currently staying with us and she's got her dogs here with her too. This cottage has no running water, uh, so it's a bit old school. Uh, so it's an interesting place to come visit and stay at. Um, it's by the lake. There's a sauna over there. First things first, we're gonna make some coffee. Right, so it's time to shave this beard off but without running water, what am I gonna do? Well, here's the answer. I'm gonna have to pump some water out of the well and then just use one of these buckets. All right, so here's my setup. So this well that I got water from is also where we get drinking water and water for cooking and water for washing. Uh, it's clean water, it's drinkable, it comes up through the rocks so it's really really cold. It actually gets tested uh, at the beginning of each summer to make sure it's drinkable. Um, and every year that I've been here for the last what, 17 odd years, it's been fine every time. I actually have work today, one final day at the end of the week after traveling. So I am going to get stuck into that now and I'll see you in a bit. Just want to say a quick thank you to everyone who's watched the first video. It's been out for about two days now, 700 views and 200 plus subscribers that's crazy i was not expecting that so big thank you to all of you just making some karjalampirka which are rice pies from the east of finland so nice put some old near cheese on top miss this food of the work day I'm heading down to the sauna to turn it on start the fire and then we are heading out on the lake here's the sauna ready for action the sauna is a wood burning sauna so I set this earlier now I just have to light it We let it burn for about 45 minutes or something and it'll be nice and warm in here. This kiosk is quite cool because this side is a water container. So you can fill it up with water from the lake and when it's time to wash after your sauna, you have some nice hot water. Now at 60 degrees, I've already put two more logs on. We're just now going on the boat, so I might just put one more log on while we're gone, and then it'll be toasty, roasty toasty when we come back.
Now in the sauna, it's a fresh, nearly 80 degrees. Perfect temperature. Oh my gosh. Remember I said there was no running water here? Well, this is the shower. Big bucket of lake water, some smaller buckets, a scoopy thing, and you're golden. That was a good sauna session. It's time for some dinner now, and then get ready for the football later. It's 10 p.m. The Euros are just starting right now. Turkey, Italy, going for an Italy win. But yeah, I'm really excited about this tournament. Like you all, been waiting for a whole year for this tournament to start. 10 o'clock in Finnish summer. Hey Dexter, what are you doing? It's another beautiful day here in Finland. First, I need to do some washing. We've been traveling and now at the summer cottage for a few days. So we're starting to gather some stuff to wash. Trouble is, obviously, there's no running water and no washing machine. So I've got some buckets out and I have to do it by hand. Just did a quick 4K just to get back into it. I haven't run for about a week now. Uh, in Finland, in self-isolation, you can still go out and about uh, as long as you need to stay away from other people. So yeah, I took full advantage. Dexter, come. Come. Oh boy. It's now mid-afternoon. Uh, I just scrubbed down the boat. It was looking a bit dirty. So yeah, that's the kind of thing you do at Summer Cottage. Um, easy days, not much going on. So you just do little jobs like that. We just got news that our PCR test, which is required after 72 hours after landing in Finland, uh, that will be tomorrow at around lunchtime. So our time here at Mucky is gonna end tomorrow. I think we'll head down like eight-ish in the morning probably, back to the capital region. And if we're negative, then we are free and we can be out and about in Finland, which is obviously very exciting. I swear I drink way more coffee in Finland than I do anywhere else. It just seems to be always on tap. I realize I haven't talked much about my side projects in the last few videos. That's just because life's happened and I haven't worked on them much. <laughs> There's not much to report. Um, still people signing up and uh, becoming customers, which is amazing. Even though it's been like a week since I've done any coding, I guess that's the beauty of internet businesses. I'll be doing more videos about them soon. But for now, it's just fun vlogging about what our days are like. Um, I guess this is what it's gonna be. Just a nice mix of both. We're just packing up all of our stuff and loading the car. We're excited to go down to Helsinki and see more of the family. Um, I have work this week. I'll be getting back onto side projects. Haven't been coding for a long time now. So I'm looking forward to that. And watch out for a new video in a few days time. Until then, see you.